everybody, what's up? So, welcome back. If you guys are new to this channel, go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment below. Show you love. For starters, I love the packaging. Packaging is super cute. The glitter of this does not go everywhere. It stays put, if that makes sense. Um, and it's the inside packaging is just amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and show that. Very clean, very classy. It's got their emblem right here and I love that. Got all of the glosses. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the first one and the first one is called Pearl. They do, this is the first one we're gonna go over. And I'm also gonna try these on my own lips so you guys can kind of can tell if there's any plumping. Um, if there's any like tingling, if there's any gross smell to any of them, they all should have a vanilla scent to them. This one here. This is the pearl, as I said before. And it's got a really pretty sh like champagne shimmer in it. I really like this one. It's not too gritty at all. So this is what the applicator looks like. It looks like. Super shimmery, really pretty, kind of like a clear champagne nude. It's really pretty. And I'm not feeling really any plumping agency. All right, so for the next shade that we've got here, next lip gloss, is the Undress. I'm impressed with this shade. It's really hard to get like a skin tone nude, if you want my opinion. The smell of this one's a little different. They're definitely a lot more of a creamier lip gloss. And it's very pigmented. It's it, more of a... I don't even know how to describe it. This is what it looks like on the hand. Alright, All right, so the next one we have... Alexandra. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. This has got more of a gold and pink hue to it. Coppery color. Ooh, I like this one. This has got more of a peach scent to it. Mm, I like this one a lot already. It's got more of a lip gloss feel to it rather than like a creamy, Creamy Velvet. So this is that one. Totally looks different on the hand compared to your lips. Like, you can definitely have a more of a peachy and like pink hue to it when you, when you see it in the light. Okay, on to the next. This is the fourth one here. This is the nude peach kind of like the third one we see all right so this is an more orangey coral i would say all right the fifth shade we have here is definitely an iridescent this is called luna it's a good name for it kind of looks like the moon it's got more of a yellowy off white tone so we're gonna try this luna it's really pretty and I can feel the glitter when I rub my lips together a lot more than I could the first one. But it's still a pretty shade. It doesn't stink. It doesn't taste bad. So we're halfway through. We're going to hit up this purpley electrifying shade next. The next shade we have Night Sky. This is very electrifying purpley color. Ooh. This one? Mm, I like. I love the texture. The texture is not, there's not much texture. It's more of a gloss. I don't know if I like the color on my, on my lips. It's, it's very fine glitter. It's not, I can't tell it's there really. Nope. Alright, so next one we have here is the Saint, or yeah, the Saint, Saint Tropez, Saint Tropez, something like that. It's not a matte, but it's not a super shimmery one 
either. The metallic color. This one's extremely smooth. one. Super pretty. And this name, the name of this is called Sunset Strip. Okay. Okay, Anastasia. If this, if none of these others remind me of summer, this does. Whoa. Like this one, guys. But I'm impressed. These are awesome. I had no doubts at first, but I was a little worried when I seen these in the store and nobody was buying any of them. Like nobody was going crazy. I was just very floored. This does have glitter, like I said, if I have not said that yet. And it's very fine glitter. You can't even tell when you rub your lips together. It doesn't bother you that much. Citrine, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. This is a super glittery gold. This kind of reminds me of Luna, this other one. This is like the gold version of the white one. So these are very similar. They have a, like a holographic glow to them. That's what that reminds me of. All right, so the last shade we have here, the last gloss here, Sparkling Garnet. Is this ain't purple metallic? I don't know what it is. Oh my god. Halloween. This is super smooth. Y'all, this is insane. <laughs> that is your final shade, guys. If you want my overall opinion on all of these, I love them. They were way more than what I thought they were going to be. Like, for them being in a TJ Maxx, and there was a ton of them. It kind of makes me want to go back and get the other set just to try it out. And honestly, I loved all of them a lot besides one. Now the other one that I liked is just I didn't like it for my skin tone. And I didn't like how much I liked, I could feel like the sparkles. And that you got like holographic, you got chrome in there, you've got sparkly glitter, you've got... Creamy, you all of those are very nicely put together glosses in my opinion. That's one heck of a gloss kit right there. So I was impressed by these. All right guys, so that's gonna basically sum up the video and I hope you guys enjoyed this and see you guys next time. Bye.